Good morning. Welcome to OB Acres. Today's Monday, May 21st. I don't know. Um, we got a bunch of rain again over the weekend. We had an inch and six tenths Saturday about six o'clock. We were. I got my corn sprayed right before that. Them fields were dry enough to do. I went over and saw it. I feel good about that. My corn's, most of it's all emerged. Some of it's pretty nice. Um, didn't get no more beans in. The bean fields were really wet because all I got left is right around home here. I got one farm next road over and this farm and then my neighbor's farm. Two neighbors I farm for. They are wet, wet, wet. And we had four tents twice or almost an inch the previous weekend. And then we had some more like little tenths of an inch here, there, and it just never dried out. But uh, there's the corn that's up. I don't know if you can see it. But it's up. This is the first I painted. I sprayed this. It just got hammered with rain. But it looks really nice. But I don't have any. I got over half my beans to put in yet. And it's supposed to. Today, Monday, Tuesday, supposed to be dry and part of Wednesday, and then rain Thursday, Friday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Then after that, I think it might be dry but they can't forecast that far ahead so we'll see um also get it in before the middle of june i guess but i just said them fields these fields have never dried out the no-till i'm no-tilling these and starting to question that but at the same time if i would have had to work them i would never would have got them worked i was working corn ground so i can only do so much uh the other farms, all my other farms, I got one four miles away, or whatever, three and a half, and then another one another three miles away. They're two opposite ends. Maybe this my farm home here is centrally located, and the other ones are two different sides. One's one's northeast, the other one's southwest. So of here, so uh, and them two have been dry the whole them haven't got as much rain i mean they're still they have plenty of moisture the crops look really good so far but them two are dry so i got all that all that planted over there all the beans the corn over north northeast are planted and i think they're all up and then my other one i got 40 acres i own over southwest it's i just got corn in there and it's i don't think it's up yet i planted that last i planted that last monday or no it was tuesday monday and tuesday it's not quite up yet but it probably will be by today i have to go look at it um but i got all the beans in everywhere else but here i got some beans in here at home one little piece here over here over the dogs so you can see the dogs running around that piece here, I got part of this, the beans, because I needed a few more acres of beans for my plantish beans. And uh, the rest of this farm's corn, and then I got beans are gonna go back here. And this, this never was dried out. It was, I had some rye in there, I burned it down. And it was probably dry one day, but I was planting corn them days. Or we were planting beans too, at the other farm. And we were putting beans in, so. But it's never been yesterday saturday i sprayed and i went over and checked fields and austin was going to come out and try but it, he checked him it's just too wet i mean by by five o'clock they were going to get really close to being ready to go but then that's when the rain started i mean they were really close but this look at all this corn fodder washed in here it just we got an inch and six tenths and it come all at once but this was all underwater this was my waterway my dry it was just, everything was underwater but it, my the good thing about my ground i don't have any ground that really ponds for very long i never I very seldom do i have any 
like dead spots in the field where water is bonded. I, I got good surface drainage and all my ground that I own has a good tile in it. Tiled pretty good. So. You know, I use more tile, but mine's all tile except for this little field here that I was in CRP for years. That could use tile, but I haven't had any. It takes a couple years after taking something out of CRP to get it back in so you can farm it. And this last year I had really good beans on there. And it wasn't wet. It's just this one spot, so it's because of water worship. But I want to tile it, but that's not planted yet. And I got three other little fields I farm for the neighbor back there that ain't planted yet. It's just a matter of having the time to do it. And I got the neighbor's farm I farm. I ain't none of that's planted. It's all sprayed. I might work some of it now because I've got some spots where I didn't quite. I didn't, you know, little strips where the sprayer didn't. I go a little wide. So I might go over there and work it if it dries out. But it's got to be, the thing of it is, it's got to be really dry to go in there with a disc or even my soil finisher. I mean, you could probably go in there a day earlier if you're just going to no-till it. But if you want to work it, it better be damn dry, and I don't see it getting that dry. But that's where we're at. So what's up, doggies? Uh, so this is Monday. There won't be any planting done this week, I'm pretty sure. It'll be next week sometime, if then. It all depends how much rain we get Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So, it's a sick feeling, but at the same time, I got plenty of stuff to do. I always like a breather to get maintenance stuff done. I, last week I worked on my 9130, had an oil line, it was, was a pretty simple fix for actually, it was a pressure, I got that done. Oh, there was something else on that something minor on that tractor too I fixed I forget what it was but that's all fixed I'm, I might be done with it unless I work I want to work some more ground but I don't know if I will and then um I don't have any other issues my I gotta work on my corn planter sometime when I'm done planting corn uh I had a, that connector broken the massey the air conditioner still I got an issue with that uh i think the condenser might be partially plugged the problem is you can't get condensers for them no more i'll have to call around and see there's a part number but this is not available so i might have to call but i gotta do some more troubleshooting there get a heat gun and you can check to see if you put a heat gun on the condenser you might be able to find if it's where it's partially plugged. i think that's what it is it's got some high it's getting high pressure on the high side now and the belt squeals which the belts needs tightened and needs replaced on the, not the air conditioner so much, but on the, that drives the main fly with the fan, which drives the air conditioner. So I gotta do that. But the thing cools really good when it runs. Cools really good, but it just pulls hard. I bought a new compressor, not a new compressor, a new style, but I'm not gonna put that on and damage it until I can verify what the actual problem is. I mean, I Everything else on that thing has been replaced at one time. The evaporator, the, the expansion valve, the compressor. The only thing that's never been replaced is the condenser, but you know, it, there ain't no leaks. It don't leak. It's held all winter. I went to use it and it, uh, well, actually that sprung a leak on the, the muffler, the one line rubbed against the exhaust up in there. And I had to cut that to fix that. I fixed that. But now it's just pulling high pressure, but it cools really good. At a low RPM, it, it works fine, but if I rev it all the way up, it starts squealing the belt. And it was pulling like 300 PSI on the high side, which is too high. So I want to troubleshoot that some more, but I don't even know if I can fix it. If I can't get the part, I can get it maybe one that's, that'll fit in there and have to re get new lines. But uh, that thing always had a like a phenomenal air conditioner in it. It would, I liked the way it worked. It had the fans, the vents blow right on you from the side. So, so I like to get it fixed. I, I'm kind of stupid about stuff. I like to, everything to work on a, anything I own. Or I don't like when you just let stuff go to hell. But I'll get it working, maybe. 
or I'll take it somewhere because I don't have a recovery unit. Some things can troubleshoot it better, I think. But I did some more research, and I know how to troubleshoot it now. But, uh, so that's where we're at on the farm. I got projects to work on. I got to change oil and the, some vehicles. And I got this stone over here delivered on my bin site. I got some more rocks I want to throw in the hole. And some debris, and then I'll start smoothing that out this week. I got plenty of time to do that kind of stuff. We got some plumbing projects. I got plenty to do. I like to haul some grain. I ain't got my truck back yet. They supposedly ordered the parts. And those should be here. I would think they'd be here pretty quick. He said they were in stock. I don't know what would take so long to get them. But uh, I might borrow my one friend's truck. He said I could borrow. I got to move my... My grain trailer's parked right in front of my nitrogen tank, so I'm gonna have to get that moved. So I might call him and see if I can borrow that. Or I could just borrow my my buddy, next door neighbor buddy here. He's got one truck I could use that to move my trailer. And then, but I just might as well just use my trailer if I'm gonna. He's got a, one other buddy's got a freight lighter just like mine. So it should be a pretty easy learning curve to drive it. There's just a lot of stuff going on. So, I'll uh, just wanted to give a little update and hope everybody else's farming is going well. I mean, I can't complain. I got a lot of stuff in where there's some people don't have that much stuff in around here. I mean, but it's just, actually, it's just this, as far as I know, it's just right where I live here, like a two mile radius has gotten hammered the worst. Because you can drive just a couple miles and this, it was dry. We went up to Fremont which is like 20 minutes from here yesterday up north. It, is, it looked pretty dry up here. So, it's just us, I guess. But I'm not complaining. I, I'd rather have a little, I don't want to, of course I don't want it to flood, but I'd rather have some moisture than a drought. I've been through droughts, so they suck. Waiting for rain sucks, so I'm not complaining. We'll get it done. Beans have been, one thing has been proven with these last couple of wet years is uh, the late beans do pretty good. I mean, as long as you keep getting rain, they've done, they say they've done, I didn't have any late, late beans that one year, but there was guys planting beans in the end of June and they still did really good. So we'll do it. You got to plant this year with the prices. So, all right, well, I'll leave you alone and I hope you enjoy the video and do a like and subscribe and. And I appreciate you watching the video. Talk to you next time.